Hello guys, so today we are going to take a look at how to set up the formation for Manchester United. We're going to play with the Christmas tree formation here, 4 5 one, four, three, two, one uh, with Marcus Rashford up front. And then we can have Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba behind him. Then we have McTominay and Fred as the box-to-box -box midfielder. And then we can have Matic as the anchorman so that both box bot mixed fielder would run forward. And the reason why Pogba is up front here because he is slow. The acceleration is only 70. So if you put him at center midfielder, he won't be able to uh, cover the counter attack to help the defense. So reason why we have Rashford up front is because he is fast. So when you do a counter attack, then uh, you can get past the defenders easily you can also use Cavani Cavani has good uh, heading stats and he have heading skills too so it'll be easier for you to cross the ball and then for the advanced instruction we're going to play with false fullback because we want uh, one when one of the fullbacks run forward then the other uh, fullbacks come inside so that way we have at least four players during the counter attack during the opponent's counter attack so it'll be a bit safer for us then the attacking instruction is going to be possession game a short pass through the center where most of our players will be and the positioning will be maintained formation the support range should be should not be close because uh, you don't want uh, the area to be crowded and you don't want to be far either because you want to have easier time to pass the ball so you want to take a middle ground pick four or five uh, for this time i'll pick four and defensive instruction is going to be all out defense because uh, i don't like pressing the calm because they are very reactive to the pressure they just pass the ball around so pick all out defense uh, containment area is going to be center because that's where most of our play will be and the uh, pressure is aggressive we want to press uh, even though we're playing all out defense we still want to press and the defensive line should be should not be too high and not too low if you play counter attack then you can pick a uh, low uh, defensive line and uh, so you should pick somewhere in the middle here it doesn't matter for five or six yep all right the compactness is going to be middle uh, area, area too don't want to be spread out because it be easier for the opponent to pass the ball around and you don't want to be too compact either because you don't want them to go into the wing easily because they are very good with the cross the com they're very precise with the cross and they can hit the ball easily if you play against a human player then it it's it's useful to use a uh, high compactness because they don't like to cross the ball and they like to pass around the middle so it's good to have high compactness and you don't want this spread out against human player because uh, they want to pass the ball through the middle so pick a uh, best of both world in the middle ground here then for the defensive uh, instruction you can pick counter target for rashford so that we can counter attack uh, with him using his pace then we have uh, let me quickly check left okay right corner will be taken okay i think that's it for the formation and the tactics so let's get into the match general settings difficulty will be superstar again we want to see more goal scoring chances instead of just defending against the legend com It'll be against Aston Villa again, similar to the Liverpool formation tutorial because I want to give a uh, I mean comparison. So let's just get the ball rolling. Alright, it's the start of the match, but quickly let me show the camera type. 
uh, stadium zoom out zero height six angle six the reason why i want to play with a zoom out camera is because i want to show the movement of the players it's easier with a zoom out camera on the Saka so the idea is to attack through the middle but you also want to mix up with the uh, crossing of the ball Fred Pogba so it looks like uh, Wambi Saka is not coming forward then uh, Luke Shaw should come forward Luke Shaw Rashford turning around couldn't take a shot Okay. Oh. Relish. Target back to Grealish. A long shot. So that's the kind of thing that you want. Them taking a long shot. Bruno Fernandes. I see Fred running, but he's going to pass it to Rashford. But his pass was awful. So that's the kind of play that he won. Quick pass during the counter attack. Pogba. Bruno. Back to Pogba. Bruno. Luke Shaw. Oh, hit the post. Good strike by Rashford. I see Pogba lurking outside. He can take a shot. Oh, this time it's a goal. Hit the post. So you have to be uh, on the lookout for that player outside the box to take a shot it's going to be Pogba most of the time because Bruno will just run inside the penalty box due to his uh, whole player playing style Rashford wants the ball but I don't think so buddy we'll take our time building up the play Bruno, two team with that shot, should have taken one more touch. All right, Bruno will get to that ball first. Let's reset back to the center backs, anchorman, Fred, Biseka. Let's get the ball to Fred on the wing. Brad, got a cross in. Oh, straight to the keeper, Rashford. Should have uh, just let him take a touch that changed his body direction before taking that shot. No one in front of him. It's okay, we can uh, do it again. See, we're retaining possession quite nicely. Bruno. See Luke Shaw. Get Luke Shaw involved. You see Fred outside the box. Cannot take a shot. It's too compact. Get out wide again. This time it's Bruno, try to do the double touch. Bruno with the curler. It's a goal. Another goal from outside the box. Two goals so far. So this is one of the things that you need to master for shooting outside the box, the double touch. You can see my double touch tutorial for more uh, situation that you can use but that is definitely one of the time that we want to use it outside the penalty box to get into the space for a shot 
back to Matic. Pogba. Tried to get to Rashford. Rashford again. So that's what you want to do. Get the ball to Pogba or Bruno. And then pass it to Rashford. Rashford has very good feet. Very strong kicking power. Let's quickly see his stats. Rashford compare it with Cavani. The finishing is 80, Cavani 85, but the kicking power is 90 for Rashford, 85 for Cavani. So he is better at striking the ball, Rashford, but uh, Cavani has more finesse with this shot. So you can't go wrong with either two. But I just prefer the young blood, Marcus Rashford. So much respect for the dude. You can see him running forward again. Mac Tamine running forward, the box to box. Luke Shaw, get a cross in for Rashford. Can they get ahead? No. Too close to the keeper. So three goals in this first half. Let's see if we can get uh, five goals similar to the Liverpool formation. We don't want them to cross the ball because it's going to spell trouble for you. Just end the first half with that. Pogba, Bruno and Rashford on the score sheets. Alright, the start of second half, we're leading by three against Aston Villa, superstar difficulty. Oh, what's going on there? Some miscommunication with Luke Shaw and uh, Maguire. So the thing with this formation, the fullbacks will run out of stamina quickly because he is going to run forward to help with the build-up. Matic, Pogba running, but our target is Rashford. No, oh no, what is that pass? What is that pass? I don't know what is wrong with that pack four. I want to pass it straight to Rashford, but I don't know. So we want to keep information that him shoot from outside of the box from far keep your formation don't press too hard if you get closer then you can press but generally just keep your formation make it hard for them let them take a shot from out wide like that Okay, so we are going to look for a counter-attack opportunity with Rashford. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad defending. See, the it doesn't cover the gap there. So be sure to cover the gaps. So Konsa. So they managed to get one goal, similar to the Liverpool game. One Bissaka through the middle, Rashford lost the ball. Too many defenders in that area. Luke Shaw looking tired. We have to make some changes now. Just past the hour mark, straight to David De Gea. Bruno Fernandes. Scott McTominay. Oh my god, that pass. I want to pass it to uh, Matic. Oh my god. 
Okay, Bruno. Matic this time. Okay. The target is Bruno, who is running forward. Oh, couldn't get to him. Okay, McGinn. He will try to take a shot. Good challenge. Managed to stay on his two feet, Bruno. Oh, Bruno stopped running. I really have to change Luke Shaw now. Bruno, maybe with this one. Pogba! Why does he slip? Why does he slip? That should be another goal for Pogba. Douglas Lewis, uh, McKinn out wide to Watkins. Pogba also no stamina left. Ooh, okay, that's a foul outside of the penalty box. Quickly change our player then. Luke Shaw, no stamina left. Alex Telles is here. Pogba, Cavani can come in now. And then maybe we can change Fred with Van de Beek. Right, another whole player. Three substitution at the same time. Okay, so that, let's just move the hair to that spot. Let's at least score one more goal. Four goals to the middle. Cavani. Cavani has space to run. Can he get a shot? No. Should have passed it to Rashford. Van de Beek Matic to Scott McTominay can he get a pass to someone in the box no all player wants to go deep but it's still with us Bruno Cavani Rashford pulls one in yes uh. Another goal for Rashford. Two goals today. He managed to bounce one. Curls one. Through the defender. Nicely done, Marcus Rashford. The youngster of Manchester United. So I guess that's it. We only can get four goals this time. But this is quite fun to play with this formation. So try this out. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. And this is a good time to subscribe if you haven't yet. Because I'll be doing more of this formation tutorials with a lot more teams. From uh, PL, La Liga, Syria and others. You can make the request in the comment section too and like the video if you find this video useful and helpful to you and with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one